Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Vinny is in the house and he is so excited about a swinging elephant. Aren't you? Sure. <laughs> Are you not excited about swinging elephant cards? Well, I mean, it sounds, you know, delightful. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't tried it. But I got a couple tricks up my sleeves today. Speaking of my sleeves, I got to roll these bad boys up. I wore the wrong ones for a live show. They have zippers on them. So I'm hoping this will keep it from clinking too much. But if it clinks. You're going to have to roll again to get it under there. You think there. so? I hate to stretch them out because tonight I'm going to want to be back to normal. So we'll see. Okay. So there's, that should do it. I'm rolling up my sleeves and I tell you what, I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit more. Um, we're going to be using the much anticipated <laughs> uh, tons of fun stamp set. I'm so excited. It finally came in. I say finally. It actually got here late Monday and yep. then Tuesday it was packed and shipped yep. all except for international orders, which went out first thing Wednesday morning. First thing, yeah. So. If you're, club, if you're waiting on your club set, it's in the mail to you now. Thank goodness, right? Thank goodness. So this one's mine. I'm going to open it up. I haven't even opened one yet. But through the magic of television, through the magic of YouTube, remember I already colored some earlier? I just cut these guys out to save us a step today because this is going to be kind of detailed. So I'm going to be using the sentiment from here, but I'm using one of those that I colored that I just did for y'all earlier just to save time. So put that little guy aside for now. We're fixing to do one of my favorite things. It really is. I have a stamp set in our stash that we have not showcased in a long time, and it's called Relic. Nope. Is it Relic? Yes, it's Relic. You guys will remember this one from way back when. Like, this was cottage days. We made this, um, and if y'all remember, we called this the bacon piece, which it, <laughs> it's wood grain, but it looked like bacon. It's also a tree, if you want to be a tree. But I'm going to show you today a technique I did way back in the day, and we're going to make a little garden using this set. And the reason I want to do that is because I want my little elephant to be swinging above a little garden of flowers. I think that'll be cute. Yeah? Okay, so let me show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take, uh, which one is it? <laughs> oh, is it not on this one? Oh no, guys, I just told y'all. Well, here's the deal. We're using two stamp sets then. I thought I pulled it from there. We're using Patina, which probably you guys have. We're using this little stamp right here from Patina. Although you could use this one, okay? So if you only have Relic, don't stress, use this one. But I'm gonna use this one from Patina, which is our bigger one, okay? And then I'm gonna use this one from Relic. So just to show you which ones I'm using. All right, the first thing I've gotten here, I'm gonna use some Distress Oxides today. Mostly because my image is very pale and I don't want anything to be super, super strong. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take that stripey stamp. You can see I've been using it. I practiced this, right? Take that stripey stamp and I'm going to put it into a light green. This is mowed lawn. That's the first one I'm going to use. And I'm going to come down here to the bottom and using the full length of the stamp, I'm going to give myself my first starter stamp. So that's going to be grass. Actually, it'll be, um, stems of flowers. Okay. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to kind of skip and go here and I've dropped down a little bit with my stamp. And then I'm going to kind of skip and go back up a little bit, just trying to get them uneven. That's all I want, right? I want it to look kind of like, do you guys have wildflowers in your interstates? You know, we do. Like, we're not allowed to yeah. cut those. Do you guys have that where you're from? I want it to kind of look like a pool of wildflowers that he just found a swing over some wildflowers. That's what he's doing. All right, so that is my lighter color green. This one I'm going to use is called Lucky Clover. And I'm going to do the same thing. First, I'm going to just wipe the ink off just roughly i just wiped it on one of my cloths and i'm going to do this again and now we're going to stagger a second color and i think i'm just going to do it like that so we're going to get a couple of colors and wherever i left a gap i'm doing that color and you don't have to do it as high as i'm doing it if you wanted it to be shorter you could but that is going to be grass okay you have a special request yes manny says my 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 husband is being mean and saying no my my you got to tell him, Johnny, she gets to watch her mama. Johnny, it's just Thursday afternoon for like four hours. I'm kidding. It's not four hours. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Let her watch. Seriously. She's going to like this one too. Plus, I'm teaching her how to save money, Johnny, because I'm showing her how to use one stamp set to be something else. So he wants her to stick around. I hope that, I hope that did it. I tried hard. <laughs> okay. I'm going to clean this green off real quick. By the way, this is just a laminated sheet of cardstock. This was made for me by Gloria. She's one of our subscribers, and I love it. She just put my logo. Actually, this is the shirt she did. You remember she designed this shirt? That's a piece of cardstock, laminated. I put a hole in it because sometimes I hang it up wherever I'm working. All right, let's do flowers. So there's my grass. Now let's do flowers. I'm going to do three colors. I'm going to do picked raspberry, tumbled glass, and scattered straw. I'm going to start with the scattered straw because it's the lightest color. 
And using these little bubbles, whatever they are, they're just a texture, I'm just going to do this number. At the top of the grass, okay, down low in the grass, see, at the top of the grass, and then maybe down low again, okay? So that's the beginning of our flowers. Does it feel kind of like a, um interstate wildflowers? Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Oops, I dropped my claw. For it. No, I didn't. I put it right here. All right, in between, I'm just, look at this. Yarn, baker's twine. <laughs> Real All kind life, of goodies baby. in here, bud. In between, I'm just doing this. Instead of getting out my squeaky clean scrubber, I'm just doing that in between. And now I'm going to go to tumble glass. You don't have to. You obviously could pick the colors that you want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever kind of flowers kinda, you want. I just kind of went with these colors because they were kind of soft and they went with my elephant. So just in between here somewhere. I don't want to be too heavy with the blue because I really want the pink to pop. Because his ears are pink. And that's what I'm trying to mimic. OG's watching today. Hey, G. What's up, G? All right, and just anywhere I want to put some pink flowers, just like so. And I think I'll put some kind of low right there. Look how cute that is. It's hard to believe we did that with um, lines and dots, <laughs> like distressed lines and dots. But we did. We just made that little pattern, and I love it. Look at it. Okay, so the plan here is to have this little guy swinging down here but the issue is what his strings don't go long enough his rope he's just hanging in the middle of the air that's right can't hang in the middle of the air we're gonna edit him a little bit and make him not be hanging in the middle of the air i'm gonna bring you in a little bit not too much so here's what i'm gonna do and just we had a couple questions about mm -hmm. this so i'm gonna go ahead and address it the the yeah the sale has really was a good sale Clean okay it out. and it did we sold job. a whole bunch of stuff and did its job that's what we wanted to happen but again, when we have such large numbers in sales, it does slow down our shipping. So um, just be patient. We're getting them out as fast as we can get them out. To Neil and Thomas are busting their hineys to get it done. So uh, they'll be coming soon. I promise. You probably they should be caught up probably by tomorrow afternoon. I mean, they're really, really, really pushing them out. Yeah, they're I know they're good. working hard. So. All right, see this? This is the string that you could normally, I already cut one off, but you could stamp him at the top of the page or you could stamp him in the middle on a sentiment piece or something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that away because I'm going to make my own string. So I'm just cutting that away. And I, I'm i trying to decide if I want to cut his little hand out. And I think I do because I think I want to put the baker's twine behind his hand. I, I think I'm being a little persnickety. But I think I want to do it. So I'm going to remove my glasses for the surgery. So you can't see. For surgery. All right. And what I'm going to do is come in here to his little hand. And I'm going to cut at his little fingers. This is kind of fussy, but I think it'll really matter. I think it'll make it look really cute. So I'm just going to cut this open. And I'm not going to cut it off. I'm just cutting it open. So that I can slide the twine up in there. So don't cut this away. And don't stress too much about it because you can glue it down. You can even cut his hand off and glue it on top if you wanted to. Which I may end up doing. We'll see. I just want to see how this would look. And you guys also remember that we are shipping in the order that we received the orders. So those that ordered first obviously will get their orders quicker than those that are behind the sale or that were later on during the sale. But we promise we're getting them out as fast yeah. as we can. I'll tell you something. I think we had more orders than we do on Black Friday. <laughs> we had a lot. Okay, so we got his little hands removed so I can put the baker's twine through. Now what I want to do is, I'm trying to make it super easy on myself. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to poke a little hole down here on where the string comes to his foot. Because that's where I'm going to start my twine. I'm being a little fidgety, y'all. You don't really have to be this fidgety. But I am. You could just glue a piece of twine down and be fine with it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so there's that hole. And here's this hole. Get in there. Get in there. I'm being careful because I don't want to rip through. As as you need I say a that. sharper object rather than no, I that? Mean, this is fine. I'm just being super easy. I don't want to rip through. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then that's going to go through there. And we should be okay at that point. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take some Becker's twine. Where'd I put it? Here it is. I'm going to try to thread this without using a tool because, again, I'm not wanting to make that hole super big, but I'm not going to be able to. Okay. Again, try not to stretch this hole too much. I'm being way too fiddly. 
You know, I could just cut a hole and then it wouldn't. Um, well, I did it. <laughs> Told you I would. Well, that makes this easier. <laughs> now we'll just lay it in there. Perfect. Should have done that in the first place. All right, I'm going to go under his hand where I cut his little hand open. Oh, so fidgety, y'all. And what I'm going to do is glue all this into place. Okay, let's get some glue. So I think I'll start at the bottom. And where the little um rope is, I hope I'm zoomed in enough. But I don't want to zoom in too much because then it gets a little hard to tell. I'm going to put some glue where this little rope is at the bottom. And I'm going to lay that twine in there and also go under his hand at the same time. Okay. And then at the top where this um, rope was, I'm going to put glue on that rope line that was um, stamped there and then lay that twine into there. Once you get this part done, it shouldn't be too fiddly after this. It's just getting the, the glue down. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is go back real quick. Let me put a little more glue right there. I didn't quite get the edge. There we go. I'm going to go back and glue his little hand down. Because I don't want it to come off since I cut it so fiddly. Again, do not feel like you have to do that so persnickety. <coughs> do not feel like it. Is persnickety the same thing as precisely? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure I was on the same page with you. So since I did that over there, I'm just going to do the same thing here and just slice the side. And then just bring that baker's twine up the side like I just did. All right, let's get us another piece. All right. Now I'm going to bring it underneath the bottom just like we just did. So I'm bringing it underneath and through that little slice I made. Okay. Then I'm going to glue it to that bottom piece of string right there. Or the bottom rope. Okay. That'll go under his little hand. To the inside here. Lift his hand up. There we go. And then I will glue it at the top as well. To that rope at the top. Does that make sense? Are they seeing that? I'm kind of all over the place with my hands. Oh yeah, they're loving it. Okay. They're loving it. Tommy hands... wants to know, is that big owl? <laughs> no, it is not. Um... My hands are all in the way, y'all. I apologize. He's cute on his little twine, isn't he? All right, I'm going to need a little more glue over here. I don't think I got quite... I can't see under there. There's some. That let me know it was there, so I'll hold that down. Then I'll go back and glue his other little... Paw? Elephant? Paw? Do they have paws? You can say that. Is that what that is? I'm just going to say hand. Okay, now what I'm going to do is come behind here and glue these down just a little bit, just for a precaution, so I don't pull those out in some way, and trim them off. I have to be honest, when you said you were going to hang the elephant, I was afraid you were going to say it was Big Al, and you were going to hang him, like string him up, cruel. hang him. I'm not going to string him up, yeah. I'm not that cruel. So I was proud to see that you were actually just going to put him in a swing. Oh, look at this, he's so cute. Now I'm going to try to get my rope real straight because I want it, you know, it's got to have some weight to it because that's an elephant sitting on it. So it needs to be pretty straight. Look at that. Let me pull the string up. Look at him. That's going to oh, be cute. Oh, he's cute, it's isn't he? going to be cute. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's foam him. Let's You're going to build a him. tree to have him swinging on no. or something? No. Huh? No. Hmm. I'm just being super simple. I'm gonna, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I mean, I could do a tree. I could do a branch. Yeah, you know, a tree with a big old limb going out there, so he just swing on the limb. You want just a branch? I'm, I'm, only, I'm only giving you a branch. I'm going to bring a branch off the fly. Well, how was you going to swing him? Just off the top of the card. Okay. Well, cute. I mean, but no, I can give you a branch. I got one right here. Isn't it a beautiful thing that you can do? You... I got a branch. <laughs> I'll put a branch right here and swing him off that branch. I like it. This branch comes from the stamp set called Rest. We also have a branch in several sets. I'm trying to think. You need to call it a branch. A branch. Okay. We'll do the branch in a second. Let's put this foam on him. Miss Jones said, uh, you do have a tree stamp set. Yes, we do have a tree stamp set. She's just saying. We do, but I didn't have it in my brain. I just had him hanging off the little card, but that's okay. We're going to do him like Vinny wants. Let's make Vinny happy. Because if Vinny ain't happy, trust me, ain't nobody happy. Yeah, well, that's what they say. 
<laughs> it's the truth. I wish people lived by that theory. It's but, the you truth. Know. All right. Let's do a little, a little test of our, of our plan here. And thank y'all for letting me be away last week. I enjoyed having a, a day to relax. I was pretty beat. Okay. I'm going to put that branch about right there. I'm going to make a pencil mark so I don't lose it. So right here. Jesus, Alton, and Olivia has a branch. Mm -hmm. He didn't uh, say branch, but you know. He said branch. He's it's English. A, it's a branch. He said they have a branch. Is that right? Branch? Oh, I don't know. I think it is. I could be wrong. I've been wrong a four. All right. My brother used to say a four, not before. He said a four. No, because said he's just a swinging. <laughs> he's just a swinging. He's going to be swinging. All right. Let's do the branch. The branch. All right. So at my pencil mark, I'm going to bring it just a little bit toward me so I can see what I'm doing. At my pencil mark. Put my little branch. Cute. <laughs> That's a cute idea. That's a cute little branch. Okay. Um, do I want to add color? Knowing me. You done, you done made me step out here, a, a Ron. Okay, hold on. Let me do a test. Let's do a test. What happens? I'm not going to stamp it yet. I'm gonna do a test on some paper. Let's bring some scrap over. Anybody ever do this? Let's test it. Let's test it. What, what are you trying out I over here? I think I want to add flowers to it since they have flowers at the bottom, right? So my thought is if I take that relic stamp set that I used down there, I mean the patina set. No, this is from relic. The polka dots. I'm wondering if I can do this. Uh, I don't like it. I'm glad I tested it. I don't well, like I mean it. A a branch in a tree ain't got flowers. No, but it might be it. cute to coordinate my tree. I'm making this tree. I can do what I want, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. You get to do you? I get to do it. All right. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now, since you're doing you, that little branch would never hold up <laughs> an elephant. <laughs> That's actually my favorite part of it. Because <laughs> first off, I want y'all to see something. When we made this, when we did this stamp set, the thing I love the most is that his little swing is like giving with his weight. And I'm like, this little piece of board's never holding this elephant up. I love that. Neither is that branch. I love that. That's my favorite. All right, I'm going to color the branch. I think it needs color since we have color at the bottom. Yeah, it needs to be brown. Brown. Not the, uh, not the right ink for this, so I'm barely touching the page because I'm trying not to smear. I should. I didn't think about being going to be coloring it, so being careful. Should I put some green up here? Well, I mean, most time branch might have some leaves on it. It does have some leaves on it. It do have leaves. I might do some little green up here. And you know what? I want my green to match. How desperate am I to make it match? <laughs> am I that desperate? I don't know. Let's see how desperate we are. Where'd my test paper go? Here's my test paper. Yeah, I like that idea. All right, using my embossing tool, tapping it into my ink, and I'm just going to dot down here. Because we just did dots down there. I just want the feel of color. You could put a little birdie on there. Several people have suggested that. <laughs> Let me get this elephant on. Because the birdie could fly away when the branch broke and the elephant hit the ground. The elephant in the room needs to be hung on this branch. So because I wanted my greens to match and I didn't have to search... I'm just doing this so I can get the look of green up here. Of course, it's not actually leaves that I'm doing. But it's cute. Gives you the look. You want to see it up close? See? Cute enough. Okay. Did I just wipe that on me? Probably. Okay. It would not be the first time. <laughs> I normally wear ink and glue everywhere. Y'all, this is cute. Oh, he's so cute. Don't you think he's so cute? All right. Baby, See, you has a great idea. She says you're going to have to cut some holes in there and tie the twine I, around the I'm probably, branch. I'm probably not going to tie it around the branch. I may just put knots up there. I don't know that tying it around the branch would really be effective. I know that's a cute idea, but I think I may just put a knot up there to make it look like it. All right, let's put him where we want him. I want him kind of low because his little legs are short, y'all. How did he get in this wing? Look, none of those flowers are squished. He ain't got. There's no elephant tramping right there. 
right? Well, look, you now you're really getting out there. <laughs> How did he... Y'all remember when you were little and you couldn't get into swing and you put your arms way up high on the rope and pull yourself up and sit down in it? Do you remember doing that? Uh -huh. How hard did he have to do with them little be short pterodactyl arms? How did he... Well, his you trunk. also got to think about you should have made the branch kind of sway. No, you know, I like it like this. he's hanging on it, you know. Look, he probably used his trunk. Look, that wasn't my original idea. I got that from somebody on the comments. He probably used his trunk. Lori said you had, should have bent a branch. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to cheat it, okay? I'm going to glue these and then come back and apply a knot. Is that how I want to cheat it? Let me think. It might be cute to do little bows up there. Is I, th mm, I kind of like that. Right, Diddy this. said, this is not reality. It's not. So I think it's so fun. Let's don't stress about it. All right. I'm going to bring his little strings in a little bit too, because that's how they were done on the oh, stand set. Veronica says his mama put him on it. Oh, <laughs> with her trunk. Did she scoop him up? <gasps> that's so cute. <laughs> I love that. Christina says, well, how does Superman fly? Just don't overthink it. You are so funny. Okay. I'm overthinking. Not really. I think it's cute to think about that stuff. I actually, I've been telling Mandy, we've been working on stamp sets and I've been like, look, I want to be whimsy. I don't care if it's realistic. I want to be whimsy. Like, I don't care if every little line touches and every, I don't want that. I want it to be our own world that we're doing ourselves, right? Oh, Lord. Now you're getting a poor May May from somebody. Oh, how nice. From, da from Dayla. How sweet, Dayla. Thank you. Poor May May. Getting it from everywhere. Did y'all see I'm putting a little glue? Y'all can't tell because it's so white. Little glue right there. He blew in with his ears. <gasps> oh. Several people have said that. <laughs> y'all, he is so stinking cute. Christina says that swinging elephant makes me smile so big. Oh, that's sweet. I'm cutting this away. I know. I know y'all probably like, no, don't. But I'm going to. I'll show him. I think I want to put bows up there. I think I want it to look really, really like it's defying gravity, right? There we go. Oh, stick down. I pulled you up. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I love him. I just love him so much. He's so cute. I forgot to stamp my sentiment. Let's live on the edge. We can do it. We can do this. We're better than this. All right. What do we want it to say? Love is in the air. I could put it up here and not have to stress. Um, I'm here for you. You make my heart sore. Sending tons of wishes. Thanks a ton. What do y'all want it to say? You want to pick the first thing you say? Say the first sentiment you say. That's what we'll go with. The fourth one. Y'all, he's really cute. Gosh, he's cute. All right, we're waiting. We're waiting. Sending tons of wishes. Thanks a ton. Love is in the air. Love is in the air is cute. I might put it up there. Something like that. You make me Okay, we got tons of wishes was the first sentiment. Tons, sending tons of wishes. All right, let's do it. I think it'll be cute. And on the inside, you can put... We have an inside sentiment, too, and that one is for an unforgettable day because elephants don't forget things. Love is in the air was another one. Man, it, we went with the first people, one. A lot of people are saying... We want the first one. Now look, I'm going to show y'all something. I have not, I've not used this stamp before. It's straight off of my stamp block. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to season it. It's good. It's fine. But what you do is just stamp it a couple times because there's a little bit of residue and it's not the end of the world. Just stamp it a couple times, especially when you have a stamp that is a bold one like this. Okay. All right. Where do we want it? Low? I think low. I think low. Let's come right here. It kind of sinks in here really good. Don't wiggle, May. Don't wiggle, May. I'm not wiggling. I also am letting the ink transfer. See how long I'm holding it there? I don't mind. What have I got to do? Right? Let the ink transfer. Get out of the way. Cute. Cute. I got to get this ink off my hand before it's on the card. I saw some on my hand. Y'all, this is a tip. I need to do this as a top tip. Buy these rags from, where do you get these? I just ordered them off of Amazon, but he you can buy them at Walmart. He orders them in bulk, and they're just those microfiber things, and I'm always getting one from him. And I will use this for probably a year, six months to a year before. I, I mean, I mm -hmm. won't wash it or nothing. 
And that may sound gross to some people, but look, I just keep it on my desk. And this is the best way to keep ink off of stuff. And it's great eyeglass cleaners, too. And they are great for your eyeglasses, it's true. All right, let's make some tiny air bows. Air bows means I'm just tying it in the air. Mm -hmm. Nothing fancy. All right, so my tip for this is don't tighten it yet. Make yourself a good bow and then bring it down to size before you tighten it. And make your bow, make your loops a little smaller than you actually want them. So when you tighten it, that'll be the bow you want. Oh my now you're putting that on top of the ropes. I'm going to glue it up there to the top. Yeah. I, like, it's, like it's tied to the tree. Like somebody just willy-nilly tied this um, thing to the tree. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. It's so cute. And... Now, Oka said that you need to put a bird or a butterfly or something in the air over that sentiment. I may. We'll see. I don't have anything that tiny. Um, let's see. Let's get some bows done. They're tiny. Okay, so we have several questions about art glitter glue. We want to ship it as soon as we can. Okay. Um, but we're going to be too cold this weekend to ship it here. So hopefully it's not going to be too much longer, though. So We keep watching. I keep watching it. We even keep trying to do like two or three days we could do, but we just, it just keeps coming back. Oh, uh, we just use it as a dry cloth, Diana. We don't. Yeah, I don't wet it. Moisten it or anything. Um, the store is still open up front. Uh, we have not started the move process yet uh, because we're still waiting on construction, but hopefully construction is going to be f finished any day now because we're getting down to the wire. My bows might be a tiny bit too big, but I really think they're, you know, I don't like them. Okay. I wish I would have inked it. I still can because I'm that person. I don't care. I don't care about rules. You care about rules? No. Nah. Let's ink it. Let's find our inking tool. Let's find our blue pad. Should be right here. Blue one. Let's change this one out because I have my favorite on there all the time. My antique um, vintage photo is on there all the time. I'm going to put a blue pad down because I want to ink it in blue. Now, this is not ideal. Do this ahead of time, but we just made this together. I didn't know how this was going to turn out. Does any, do you guys ever, I mean, I know y'all work this way. I know you do. Nobody works from the completed card in their head. It, it would be so hard to do that. So carefully, I'm going to go around and add some blue. And if anything falls off, the beauty is I can put it back. Right? Yeah. It's so cute. And I'm using the same blue we used in the flower. I might even come in the bottom and do some green. Do blue at the top like it's the sky. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh, yeah. This is cute. Gosh, if I do say so myself, I love this little guy. I'm concentrating, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm concentrating. Just make sure you don't wipe it on the card somewhere. I'm trying not to. Um... While we're sitting here, just for a second, I want to say something to y'all, because I know a lot of you guys don't watch the Crafter After Show, and I have a really important announcement I want to make, because I think you guys will be really interested in this. So my daughter-in-law, Taylor, is going to Africa on a mission trip this summer, and she's raising money for it, okay? And the reason I want to mention this is because I don't want it to happen, and you guys not have known. We are having a jewelry party tonight, a paparazzi jewelry party, and I will be linking that information on my Facebook page, and also on my Instagram. And if you want me to link it on um, YouTube, I will in a post. But if you could make it, you just go online. You don't have you can sit in your pajamas and do it. And you can participate and help send Taylor on her mission trip to Africa. And I just wanted to mention it while everybody was here. And I'm going to talk about it in detail on the Crafter After Show. So yep. we'll do that. But just she's got to raise like four thousand dollars. Yeah. So we're going to do that. We're trying to come up with ways. If y'all know of a good fundraiser for something like that, let us know because um. She's got to raise a lot of money. And I think she's raised like 1700 so far. Yep. So she's still got a long way to go. Yeah. So if y'all don't mind, if you want if you want some $5 jewelry, that's the jewelry I wear so much. You know, my paparazzi jewelry. If you want some $5 jewelry, it's the time to do it. So that's all I'm really going to talk about it here. I don't want it to be part, like, take over the video. But in case you don't watch the Crafter After Show, I just wanted to mention it. 
I love putting the little green in the bottom too. Look. Voila. Voila. Now it Looks needs a good. base. It needs a car base. Right? Gotta oh, put him on yeah. a base. You can't just be out there without a base. He is cute. How you gonna dog. do that? Him so cute. What base? What base? What base? Look around the room as if you know what you're doing. <laughs> if it was me, I would be outside the box and I would do something with a yellow tone. Yellow? I don't think anybody's going to agree with you about that. It's all right. Let's see if they do. I'd grab that yellow paper back there behind you and make it. What yellow paper? All that yellow paper on that wall over there. Babe, if I'm doing yellow, I'm going to do a good solid. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you mean a plaid. <laughs> Look, I just, you know, it's springy. Yeller? I mean. Yeller. That's outside the box, ain't it? It is outside the box. It's outside that elephant's comfort zone. No. Nah. Let's try it and see. I Yeller. Mean, you can hate it if you want to. I mean, I'm just, I'm just using my little thoughts, which, are, are. which are pretty small. I pr no, they're not. Your thoughts. Ah, knocked something down. <laughs> I mean, maybe well, I noticed you ain't got no yellow paper yet. Babe, I gotta have a card base first. This is not your first rodeo. You've done this before. You know. Well, you can make just sure test it. Make sure your little embossing tool is clean before you do this. Actually, I'm not going to use this. Here's why. This is some not your mama's card stock, and I want to use my, sil my oh, I do it all the time, my Teflon bone folder because... If you could only find it. Yeah, if I could only locate it. Here it is. I want to use the Teflon on here because on Not Your Mama's, you need a Teflon. You just do. What's that bad boy is thick. This is some thick stuff. And I'm going to show you what else I do. I do the top side on the Not Your Mama's and I flip it over and I do the bottom side because I can't get through both sides really good and this way I can. All these people saying they like yellow. Hey, look. I mean, it's just a idea. I don't dislike the yellow. Um, we're working on a class, on adding a new class to Maidicon, and I did yellow in the project, stepped outside my comfort zone. Look at you. Yep. All right, so let's find some good, solid yellow. Yeah, right back there behind you. You see one? Yeah, in that rack. Where? Behind you. A good, solid yellow, huh? Yep, just oh, plain old one. solid yellow. I found a good, solid yellow. He's actually a pretty good yellow, actually. Whoops. How come it is <laughs> that you can't recognize there ain't nothing solid about that piece of paper you it got in It is solid yellow. It ain't. It ain't even close it to solid. It is solidly yellow. That's as plaid as plaid can get. Y'all, that is squint. Baby, I don't need to squint. It's plaid. <laughs> Let me see what he looks like first. Let's double check we're okay with yellow. Oh. <gasps> Babe, that's a perfect choice of a solid. I know. It's a perfect choice that's of color. That's a really good it choice. It ain't a solid. But that's a really good choice. Look, if you grab that piece of yellow solid paper back there behind you, you'd really see what I'm talking this about. This is a solid. <laughs> Lord, help her. It's, help her. it's solidly help her, Lord, yellow. Help her. I think I'm going to use the... <laughs> help her. Help her, Lord. Help her. <laughs> I'm going to do this right here because it's my favorite. What it is is plaid. I can't help it. It's Naoka my favorite. says it's tone on tone. Oh, no, I'll it's plaid. It. I'll take it. It's plaid. It's yellow on yellow. You said yellow. You didn't specify. You did You did tell me to get that solid paper. <laughs> I did, yeah. I was very specific. <laughs> but you also very told Pacific. me to do me. Very Pacific. Pacifically, you told me to do me. <laughs> I think I want to pop him up. So the yellow will show real good. But I gotta be careful because he's still drying. And I had a piece of Scotty left. I'm gonna put that one in the middle. And then let's put Scotty. Some on the top and bottom. Terrence, look. <laughs> you know, we dated at 7 4 19. Look how much is still left. This how long this stuff lasts. Forever. Well, good lord for how much it costs. It, it ought to last. It's right, but it's that stuff's so high. good. And I know there's others out there because people send to me all the time, but there's something about this. It's just so good. Yeah, I agree with y'all. We did compromise. We at least got yeller, even though it's not solid. 
It's as solid Deanna as said, I you do. ain't colorblind, but you definitely pattern blind. <laughs> I am pattern blind. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely pattern blind. I like it. I like it. All right, let's peel this off. <laughs> and I don't I don't understand the skint, the squint argument. Squint, and you see yellow. That's all that matters. You don't see the black. But who anymore. looks at a card and goes, if it's one of mine, most people go, what did she do? <laughs> oh, it's yellow. What? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I know I know. when I get a card, that's the first thing I do is squint to now. look at it. You will now. Mm, mm, mm. The artist, this is what you need to know. The artist wants you to squint to get the best view of the card. That's what they want you to do. I'm totally doing this so backwards because now I'm going to go in there and stamp a sentiment. This guy is so cute. Oh, yeah. This guy needs a name. He is so cute. <laughs> it's my favorite stamp set of 2019. It's only like the third one we put out. 2020. It's only like the third one we put out. Okay, hold on. G says, what's this yeller, yeller, y'all keep saying? <laughs> it's yeller, G. <laughs> yeller. You know, it's like the color you find over yonder. It's yeller. He's like, I don't even know what English. What is your, is that the King's English? What it's the King's English. What are y'all speaking? <laughs> Gary's like, y'all are making a mockery of the English language. A mockery. I can't argue with okay. that. This is probably not going to go well. <laughs> if it doesn't, we've done good to this point. I really totally should have um, done this before I put it all together. But you know what? I just don't work that way. Somebody said yesterday, May May, work smarter, not harder. I said, the problem with that theory is you have to be smarter to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> All right, let's do it right here. I'm trying to figure out what it is you're doing. I'm going for it. Stamping the inside. Sending tons of wishes for an unforgettable day. Oh, yeah. And, oh, I did it. All right. Free-handed it. Toby. Toby would be a cute name. Somebody just said Toby. They said Yeller the Elephant. <laughs> Yeller. The Elephant. We could just call him Old Yeller. We know. The Elephant. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Try that again. See if I get it this time. Yeller the Elephant. That's my favorite. Yeller the Elephant. <laughs> That's his name. I actually do love that. Yeller the Elephant. <laughs> poor Vinny. <laughs> I give that out to. Uh, I just gave you a poor Vinny. Dela. Y'all, look at him. Is he super cute? And G says, is it Burger King? <laughs> yes, it is. Is he cute? Do y'all love him? That's Come precious. on. Yelvis. Mm. Oh, gosh. Dela. Okay, so she spelled her name with a Y. Dela Yeller is a good is a good one. Like it. Um, how cute is he? I love him. Oh, Elliot. Y'all are, y'all are the cutest little names. Ellie. By the way, let me show you because I haven't really got to show you the stamp set much. This little bow right here, it fits on the hair so you can make it if you want it to be a girl. That little bow will fit right on her little hair and, and you can even just stamp it on there. You don't have to fussy cut it. Hmm. All right. I love him. I think he's adorable. What is this? What is this craziness? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> For an unforgettable day. Love him. Turned out cute. I'm real happy. I've been, bre I've been brewing over this one. This <laughs> this idea has been brewing in my head for a little while, so love it. Thank you guys so much. Y'all are so cute. Stamps All right, you ready to go to the character after show so we can talk about whatever we want? I am ready. So y'all ready? Any questions about this stamp? I think we're good. Um, head over to Crafter After Show so we can talk she about. She says all it's kinds pronounced Daily. Sorry, Daily. That's a cute name, Daily Amber. You listening? We have a baby girl to name. We think. <laughs> We don't know. We have no idea what she is yet or he is. But we're kind of leaning toward girl. And Daily is a cute one. All right. I'm going to close this out here. We're going to head over to the Crafter After Show. Has the link been put in? I don't see it yet. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to wait and let somebody put the link to the Crafter After Show in the chat. And we will head over. Thank y'all for letting me just play today. I had a lot of fun with this guy. Look. Okay, listen. The squint theory. Because, <laughs> because the phone blows light out so much the new iphones just blow light out everything's just so white i mean in the dark it's bright right it looks like a solid yellow they're probably having a hard time seeing the pattern i doubt it look on your screen 
Like, all right, there's the link for the Crafter After Show. So if you will, if you're in the comments now, you can see it. Shannon just posted it. So just click on that link and it'll take you directly to the Crafter After Show. All right, guys, we're going to end this and we'll see you in a few minutes. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.